know that you walk in this room, but whether you're just standing in it, you might as well just go ahead and stand. Oh, I agree with you walking in this room, Jeff. You already stand in it. Yes, you already stand in it. Verse 
41. To 46, and then I want to read Matthew 11 and 50. And I just said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. There's a what church? Sound. There's a what church? Come on, there's a what church? Somebody say sound. There is a sound of abundance of rain. Evangelist Georgia stay right there in the bank. Help your under shepherd birth this word. So Ahab went up to eat and drink and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. He cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, go up now. Look forward. I greet my holy husband my king in this atmosphere and every one of you he said look toward the sea somebody say look look uh-huh look towards the sea and he went up and look someone say look look and said there's nothing he said go again how many times seven. somebody say seven. seven seven times somebody say seven it says, go again seven times, and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, prepare thy chariot, get thee down, and the rain stoppeth thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind. There was a great rain, and Ahab rode, went to Jezreel. The hand of the Lord was on Elijah. Yes. And the hand of the Lord is upon life empowerment. Yes, yes, yes. And the hand of the Lord, look the person next to you, said, the hand of the Lord is upon you. See, Sister Brittany, the hand of the Lord is upon you. Amari, do you believe that? Do you believe that? Come on. Yes. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you know the hand of the Lord is upon you? Amen. Do you know? Do you know, Gavin, that the hand of the Lord is upon you? Oh, listen. Yes. It don't take a whole. It don't take me to minister a long time. All I gotta know is that God's hand is upon me, and that's yes. all I need. God's hand is upon me. Amen. And the hand of the Lord is upon Elijah, and he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab at the entrance of Jezreel. I want to run real quickly. Oh my God! You gonna stay right there with me today? When I'm peaking, you're going to flow with me in the realm of the Spirit. Amen. My God, my God, my God. The Bible tells us in um, Matthew, come on, stand up. You got two good feet. Come on, stand up. If you got two good feet, even if your feet not so good, if your knees hurt sometimes, not mine, and still stand. Matthew 11 and 15 says, He that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the what? Spirit of the Lord is saying. Let's read that together again. Matthew 11 and 15. He that hath ears to hear, let him what? Hear. Amen. I want to go back again while you're having your on your way down in your seat. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up and eat, for there is a sound of abundance of a rain. Again, connect with your neighbor and help me announce my topic again. It's about to drop. It's about to drop. Amen. It's about to drop. Amen. It's about. Lord, help me to behave myself. I feel like taking my leave off. Amen. And running myself. Amen. Come on, get excited about God. Listen, I went to a game. Have a seat. I went to a game, and you didn't have to tell the people where to get excited. I'm tired. Come on, church. Yes. We got to know how to stir the atmosphere. Yes. I went to a game when I was thinking about what the Lord was going to say to me on last night to say to you. When I went to the game, what I realized, Evangelist Georgia, there was a whole lot of noise yes. in the atmosphere. I see you, Sister Tamia. Evangelist, say amen. It's so good to have Sister Christina, Evangelist Christina. Amen. Thank you for helping Mama today. Uh, uh, I went to a game 
and, and then there was so much noise, evangelists. And I was like, Lord, they came ready. How many of yes. you came ready? Yes. Mama, sometimes you've got to be able to set the atmosphere. Yes. I'm going to try to teach because I understand the times and the seasons that we are in. And there was a whole lot of noise and the people were cheering and they were clapping. As a matter of fact, when, when Central came out on the field, the people began to stand and they began to clap, clap, and they began to shut the atmosphere. And I kept hearing a woman behind me. She says, that's my baby. Go ahead, baby. I believe that the Lord is pushing us. Uh -huh. And as I watched the players, I could not help but to think of about the mental concentration that takes place in order for the players to hear. Somebody say hear. Yeah. And as I look and I said, they got to have a sharp hearing because when the coach is calling, God bless you, Pastor. When the coach is calling the play, yeah. that it's important for us to hear. Well, there is a coach yeah. that sits on the circle of the earth yeah. and he's been calling the plays yeah. before 3,000. I know they say 2,000, but it's been over 3,000. He's been calling plays for you and me. He's been calling shots and he knows who got the ball. He knows what you're running into. He knows what you're running with. Somebody say, I'm running with something. There's something that I'm running with. There's anointing that you're running with. There's power that you're running with. There's something, Gavin, that you are going to run with when you go into college. As a matter of fact, you've been running with it. Even when your mother birthed you out of the womb, somebody say, I'm running with something. Uh, they got to be able to hear above uh, the crowd. They got to be able to hear. They have to be able to hear above and, and, and through the instruments, Brother Neil. They have to be able to hear and see the end zone. Uh, uh, hearing and sight uh, is important for the quarterback. So I'm going to be your QB uh, for the day and you're going to be my team. Uh, I'm going to be the quarterback, Mrs. Uh, Jackson coming through uh, and you're going to be my team. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got anybody that I got a wide receiver. Do I got somebody I hear you? That's a wide receiver. You know how to move and flow with your apostle. You understand the truth. As a matter of fact, you're reading the signs. You're reading the atmosphere. And you know exactly because your eyes are lit and you're hooked on the king of glory. There's a release. Somebody said, there it is. A release. They were so loud. And I was like, okay, in my mind. I said, I like this. This, uh, this atmosphere. I said, we got this. Uh, the church got to be like this. Uh, so I'm looking and I'm discerning the atmosphere. And I said, my God, uh, the church got to get like this. Uh, because we know the King of Glory uh, is a releasing. There's a sign. Uh, and there is a wonder who I am talking to. Uh, God said, I look for a man to stand uh, in the cap that I will pin on the head. Uh, so I won't destroy nothing. Do I have anybody uh, that say, you can throw it to me. I'm a safety. I am a safety. I move. I move. I got some blockers. Where are my blockers? As I watch my God, they blocked. So the passage is clear. I need some blockers in the realm of the spirit. Are you a blocker, daughter? You got to be a blocker for mama. You got to be a blocker. I'm a blocker for pastor. So anything that's trying to come in your presence, I'm able to block. Be light, and everything that was not moving began. 
began to move. Everything that was in darkness was moved. He began to unveil. He began to reveal. Somebody said, let that be. So I realized that my ear have to be tuned to the correct frequency. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, tune in. Say, stay tuned in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Bible tells me in the book of John 10, 27 says, my sheep hears my voice and no, and he said, I know them. So I'm looking at the quarterback and I'm reading the coaches and I'm asking my husband a myriad of questions and I'm wondering, I said, I hope you're not getting tired of me asking him questions because I'm going to ask him anyway. God never gets tired of you and me asking questions. As a matter of fact, he says, come to him with your what questions. Uh -huh. So he says, my sheep hear my voice. And he knows them. And they, they follow me. And I give to them eternal life. Then Romans 10 and 17 says, faith comes by the hearing of God's word. Matthew Mark 4 and 24 reminds us to pay attention. Somebody say, pay attention. We're paying attention to what's happening in Israel. Because Israel, my God, is the greatest QP on the face of the earth. Yes, yes, yes. We may not like what Israel may be doing at times, but the Bible cannot return void. Whatever God says about Israel, it's a done deal. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. It is a done deal. Say, it is a done deal. So we got to know what God is saying. We, we got to know what God is speaking. Somebody say, speak to me. So he speaks to Moses in the burning bush. I'm looking for God to do it different in this season. Somebody say, it's about to drop. Can I teach a little bit more? Then we're going to go into the three things the Lord showed me. I'm looking for God to speak to me different. God drop a word that's not like any word. God drop your prophetic release like never before. God drop. He drops into an atmosphere that's ready for him. Is this atmosphere ready? That's you. Is this atmosphere ready? Is this I'm asking y'all a question. So that when you all can begin to find the flame. You can begin to find the flame of this glory. Find the flame of the earth. Oh my God. Ay, 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 ay. Do I got anybody that's ready? Come on, I need you. Yes. There is an atmosphere. There's a drop in the name of Jesus. All I need is one word to drop. And the doors are open. Listen, if you come in for your deliverance, God said the word is dropped today. So you can walk out of Have a seat. He spoke to David in songs and prophecies. Look, look, look how he speaks now to Elijah. Let's, let's look at 1 Kings 19 and 11. And he said, go forth, stand upon the mount before the Lord. Behold, the Lord passed by and a great strong wind rent the mountains, break it into pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, uh -huh, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the, it was not where church, look at your neighbor's a neighbor, something's God not in, say he's just not in it, uh -huh. and afterwards, look at verse 12, verse Kings 19, and afterward the earthquake, a fire, now it doesn't mean that he was not in the wind at one time because he was. It doesn't mean that he didn't move mountains because he always do. And it doesn't mean that he don't operate like what fire. But somebody say times and seasons. And after the earthquake of fire. But the Lord was not in that. And after the fire, a still small what church? A still small what? So for all of a sudden I'm watching the game up. Brother Neil, because I do like football, and I know football a little bit. And my husband is, he's, he's in gross, and I'm watching him, and listen, he's locked. You got to be locked to what God has called you. And I'm looking at what, what is happening to sexual and what's happening to, to the bull. So, so we got to know how to look and how to read the plays. And as I began to look, when, when things were going crazy, mama, I noticed that the coach would call a time after. We got to know what to call a time oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, church. The coach will begin to call a time out. Why? Because he didn't like what they were doing. So he wanted to intercept or, or mess up the play. Or maybe the coach saw that the 
the other team was about to score. So he would call and he would break the flow in the name of Jesus. And so he would call a timeout. I believe that God is calling a timeout for the church. I believe that God is calling us. Are you watching me? I believe that God. Somebody say timeout. It's timeout for playing church. It's timeout for foolishness. Somebody say timeout. What does your timeout look like? Somebody say timeout. I can't go back to Moab. Come on, baby. It's timeout. You've been walking too long with God. You've been ordering your steps in the Lord's work. It's time out. It's time out for hypocrisy. It's time out. Come on, church. Somebody say it's time out. Look at your neighbor. Say it's time out. It's time out for allowing that giant to cause you to want to move. Somebody say time. Listen, if I'm hurting your ear, you can step all the way to the back. Somebody say time out. Somebody say it's time out for fear. Somebody say it's time out. Like it's time out, and you got to know what, what's taking place. What does your time out look like? The Bible tells me in the book of Acts, my God, chapter 2, they were huddled up in an area. And so, when the coach would call them, they would huddle up in a place. You and I are huddled up in a place. I begin to look at that when the church comes together, when the enemy cannot come in, when nobody, no sayer, no aggravator, no one that's witchcraft, no lip service, no diverse kind, nothing, nothing, no unfruitful thing. Somebody say, you got to huddle up, and they begin to huddle up, and as they huddle up, I looked at some of them moving their feet, there's a move in the realm of the spirit, Brittany, God will tell you it's time out, does anybody know when you are having a time out, David said, he that dwelleth in the wilderness of time, I looked at them and said, Ava, it's out. He that what dwelleth, where you dwelling? It's where you dwell. He that dwelling in the wet church, the secret place. Somebody said time. Somebody said time. It's time out. I will serve the Lord. He is my strength. Somebody said time out. This is where you said go. He slay me. Yet will I church trust? Somebody said time. I gotta get everything back. Get to see. 
Help is on its way. Your butler is on its way. Your answer, listen, I decree, I declare some things are not on the way up, but they are already here in the name of Jesus. Your breakthrough, somebody say, on the way. Deliverance is not that y'all not helping me up in here. Does anybody expect something from God? I'm not fasting for seven days, and I'm not going to see the glory of God pour out in my house. Pour out in life and power. Somebody says, on its way. It can't be stopped. It Open up your mouth and say it's on its way. Open up your mouth and say it's on its way. Open up your mouth and say it's on its way. Listen, there was a time when they were about to score the entire atmosphere. They were saying, Who? Who? I said, What? What is that? I, I didn't, what is it? Yes. What? What is it? Oops. <laughs> Oops. It was a different shot. I, I, I said, what? Let me hear it again. Ooh. And they were like, whoop. This means it whoop, whip. I'm not sure. They said, whoop, whoop. There it is. There's a shout. I hear you, Elijah. Somebody said, whoop. They begin to say, whoop. Listen, the atmosphere of expectation is the breathing group. Can you stand and just begin to give God glory? Come on, stand up and give God listen. Can you say that whoop? My God, let me get to stop the atmosphere. Let me get to the prayer. They say, whoop, there it is. All you heard them say to us, whoop. And I said, what? Yes, Lord. Have a seat. Yes, Lord. I said, wait a minute. Yes. I like this kind of sound. Glory, it's different. Hey, God. Stay right there, evangelist. Yes, you with me today. Hallelujah. You with me. Hallelujah. Let me get to stop the atmosphere. And all of this, I look back. My God. The Bible said that when the power released a sound, so number one, they got to be a sensing. You're sensing the God. It's already done it. You're sensing that amazing things is about to happen. Somebody say, I'm sensing. I'm sensing your husband is on the way. I'm sensing your wife is on the way. Somebody say, sensing. Somebody say, sensing. And then the Lord said, You're not only going to sense, but you got to be able to tune into the right frequency. So number one is what? Sensing. Somebody say sensing. It's something about when the Lord began to say sense it. Then number two, somebody say sound. Somebody say sound. I don't know about you, but when, when he begins to speak to me, it puts a little bit more fire back in my belly. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fight in your spirit. When you begin to sense some things, you got fire, you got power. You know what to do at work now? You know how to handle it at work? Come on, come on, come on. I'm stirring your inner man. See, I don't gotta say nothing. The word is already said it in the name of Jesus. Who am I talking to? You got fire, you got power. It don't matter what they come in, what they carry in, what they plant, what they're trying to say. God says there's an opening in the realm of the spirit. Somebody say, sound. I hear the sound of abundance in your life. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. I hear the sound. Somebody said, do it phenomenally, Lord. So when he comes, your sound changes 
the atmosphere. The sound reshifts in order. That's the reason why the enemy always tries to mess with our what? You come up, you first thing this fast showed me that I had still some stuff in me that was going to be clogged. So the Lord said, you got to be able to release that. So when we were huddling, someone say repentance. Someone say repentance. We begin to what, repent. We begin to ask God. That's the sound God is looking for. God have mercy. How many of you were there? Ten minutes. Thank you, my son. How many of you were there? Mercy, mercy. We begin to release a sound as a church. We begin to pray, Shaw. The pray be delivered from the mighty. Somebody say sound. We begin to say, God, it's me, it's me. We don't look at no one else. We look at the church. We begin to say, God, the church has messed this up. And the church has not gotten everything wrong. But there's some still things that the church got to get right. Somebody say sound. Before there can be an abundance, the sound got to shift the atmosphere. So your spirit got to be right. Your heart got to be right. Your mind got to be right. Yes, Lord. Somebody say sound. So when the prophet released the sound, Pastor, nothing was happening. God is going to send you to someone where nothing is happening. Amen. And all you're going to do is shift the atmosphere yes, and speak Lord. a word. Yes, Lord. You're going to give them one word. And that word is going to be enough to shift the atmosphere. Look at this. He said, I hit the sound of the abundance of rain. Look at the it says, time to dance. The last five word of abundance is what? Dance. It's time that you dance in your ring. It's time that you dance. What God said he's going to do. He said, don't run more shit. You think David can dance? Do I got anybody that there in a fun dance? There's a dance in your spirit. There's a dance for what God is about to do. There's a dance for how God is about to bring it out. There's a dance. And listen, we got to be careful that people are speaking and they're hearing the same ones. Because the prophet asked his servant, he says, get up and go look. Ahab positions himself. Elijah positions himself. And then Elijah tells his servant, I want you to get up and go. Somebody say, get up. And when the servant comes back, he's tone deaf. Pause for me. He's tone deaf. He's tone what? Say with me. There has to be number one, somebody say the sensing. Sense. Sense. Number two, somebody say the sound. sound. You with me? Yes. You with me? Sound, yes. The servant is tone deaf, mama. The servant does not hear. He's got to have to stop. Yes. When he left the presence, and I'm saying this, of Elijah, he heard nothing. Wait a minute. We leave, and we leave church. We're supposed to always still be hearing a what? Yeah, yes. Um, yes, Lord. Listen, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 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 Saturday. When you're at work, you must always be hearing a what? Sound. Praising God. Yes. He says, go and look. Uh -huh. Go ahead and pay for me a little bit. He's telling him to go and look, but he's tone deaf. It's dangerous to ask somebody what they see and they've not been hearing nothing. They've not been sensing anything. They've not been on the correct frequency. Yes. Listen, every time the Lord spoke, he was always sensing what God was about to do. Every time he spoke to, listen, the disciples, he says, listen, you're going to mess this thing up. So I want you to go to the place of the upper room. So when the sound is released, you will hear. Listen, in the book of Judges chapter 6, when he tells them, listen, I don't want you all to say nothing. Just march around the wall and shut your mouth. But on the seventh day, my God, march around. My God, seven plus three. He says, then I want you to release a what? Sound. We have to be on one accord. Look at your name as a neighbor. We got to be in sync with what God is saying. Say, I'm in sync. Touch three people and say, I am in sync. Go ahead and touch. I am in sync. Somebody say, I'm in sync with what God is about to. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Serving is tone deaf. Been in the presence of the prophet and you still deaf. You've been hearing. What have you been hearing? The church cannot afford to have deaf ears. The church has to be able to hear correctly. The prophet said you shall not see wind or rain, but you shall see this valley fill with ditches. There's a sensing and 
then there is what church sound. Sound indicates that something good is coming up. Sound indicates that you're moving from one dimension to another dimension. Sound is indicating, I decree, I declare, after this message, you're moving out and you're coming in. That's the reason why Ahab had to reposition himself. He had to move out from what he was in and reposition himself. We're moving out of the mountain. Come on. You declare that I am moving out. You declare I'm moving out of depression. You declare I'm moving out of imprisonment. I'm moving out of pain. I'm moving out of the hole. I'm moving out. There's a sound that's soaring from the waters. He lifted me from the miry clay. He lifted me. Somebody declare there's a move. There's a sound. Whenever there's a sound, the church move. Whenever there's a divine sound, a prophetic sound. An apostolic sound. There is a move. So some of this stuff. Ah. So the coach, they got three times out. They were in drop mama for three and a half years. So we've already called the last time out. And there's no more time out. Because we're in the last days. The last thing is sound. Somebody say it's about to drop. drop. Somebody say the sensing. sensing. Somebody say the sound. Somebody say the sight. Some stuff that you use to be hindered with after this service will never bother you again. You got to know. You got to reposition your spirit. You got to set the atmosphere. Come on, let's read. Uh-huh. And he says, go up. Look at verse 43. And he went up and look. I see my time. I'm looking over time. Yes. Check my time. I'm looking over time. And look, there was nothing. We cancel and we nullify nothing. We come up against anything that want us to come back with no testimony. My testimony will not be shown. My testimony will not be stopped. My testimony will not be blocked. My testimony there will not be a lie because if God said that he's going to do it, he shall what church do it. See, see, they're coming back and he said nothing. And a lot of times people say, you've been to church and I don't see nothing. You got to shut their mouth and say, I hear a sound. I don't have to feel it. I sense it. I hear a sound. Listen, I don't know what you've been hearing, but I know I hear what God is saying in this hour and in this season. And so you got to know. Somebody say, I know. Somebody say, I've got to what? No. And, and so now he comes back and he says nothing. But we override everything that wants to come back of a different report. We tear down everything that God is not sanctioned. Somebody say, it's my season. Somebody say, it's my time. Somebody say, I'm what God is about to do. I've been in place of prayer. I've been petitioning God. I've been praying to the God I serve. I've been talking to him about life and poverty. I dig up the fall of God. There's an earthquake. There's a breaking. There's a breaking. The sea, the abundance of the sea is coming in. The size of the sea is coming in. See the Lord's generation. It's a
even if it's a mustard seed. Yes. Even if it's springy. Mustard seed. Somebody say size. So he comes back and he says, it's a, then he changes from nothing. He said, well, I just see something that's the size of a man's hand. Men don't got nothing to do with this. If God is the one who has ordained it to be, he will finish first and execute it. Look at how he's downplaying what the prophet is trying to get him. The prophet said, go and look towards the sea. He said, when you look at sea, in Hebrew, listen, it means generation. It means that it's not just going to be within your move, but it's going to be the generations that are coming. Somebody say sea. When you say sea, it's abundance. Was it not Moses who looked at the rod in Exodus 14 and part of the one sea? I call it in in the name of Jesus. I call it in. I call my sons and my daughters in. I call prophetic intercessors and worshipers in. I see the sound, the size of life empowerment. I see the potency of life empowerment. I see the effectiveness of life empowerment. One of you can go and minister to one person and that person can open up and they can be a rehab that will bring in their entire family. Somebody say size. Somebody say size. I saw one little catcher. He had number one on. Somebody say I'm God is number one. God is, God is all the time. He was small. Yes. But baby, he was what? Potent. Yes. He was what? Potent. Fast. Yes. He was the tiniest of them all. But he was good. Yes. Mama, he was the smallest one on the field. And he was moving. Pastor Celia, like he had 50 men running in him. Yes. What you have running in you? Ahab was about to outrun the chariot. Ahab was about to outrun. You're about to outrun this thing. You're overturning. You're over, over. You're running out. You're running out. You're overrunning in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells me that the prophet said, get down. But there is a sound. He says, listen, he was on a chariot. I hear the Lord. Even those who started late, the Lord said, you won't finish first. I hear the Lord say, you will come through quicker. Jesus, I see this. It's a little yes. He says, you will come through quicker. I'm going to go to the Lord. I'm going to go to the Lord. The Bible tells me that he said, Ahab, get up and I want you to begin to move. He moved in a chariot, but Elijah came and I want to have this speed. Prophetic speed. Prophetic wind. I decree prophetic speed in this house. Prophetic wind. So 
number one, he counts and he flows. And then we looked at number seven. And number seven, tomorrow we're going into day seven for our fast. How many of you gonna be with me? How many of you gonna stand with us? You're gonna stand with me and my husband. You're gonna stand because we know what God says. Father, I thank you for heaven. Thank you for heaven over this atmosphere. We sense it. We're hearing your sound, Jesus. You said the signs. God, it's your hand that's on this. It's your hand that is in this. It's your hand that is moving this. It's your hand that is pushing this. And God, I thank you for a testimony. That will not lie. In Jesus' name. Give God glory. Come on, give him glory. Come on, declare it's about to drop. Say it's about to drop. Somebody say it has already dropped. Somebody say it has already dropped. It has all. How many of you receive a word? Within a word, in the name of Jesus, it has already. Take out your offering. Oh my God. Do we have time? And we surely don't. Raise your offering to the Lord. Day 13. We celebrate our 13th and uh, come on, let's praise God. We celebrate our you gotta get more excited when you're next to me. What's on me gotta be on you. Come on, you can't be cool, breeze, be your mama. Come on, somebody say 13. Somebody say 13. Next week, we're gonna have our shirts, but listen, you can come to me during the week and you can get your shirt. We're gonna get the shirts. I should get the shirts at least by tomorrow. You can come to my house, our house, and pick up the shirts. We're going to be dressed down for the next three weeks. You're going to wear your stirring shirts. And we have some gifts, amen, that we're going to give to you. Every week for the next three weeks, we got to look the same. We got to what? We have to what? We have to what? We have to what? Look the same. I want you to invite someone. Amen. Some of y'all don't invite nobody. Amen. Keep inviting. Amen. Keep what? Inviting. Keep what? Inviting. Keep what? Inviting. He sent him back seven times. Yes, it's true. If you gotta invite them what? Seven, seven times. times. Yes. If you gotta invite them what? Fourteen times. Yes. Lift your offering to the Lord. I know my time is out. I see my son in the back trying to move me, <laughs> trying to be obedient. Father, we thank you. Yes. I receive this word. How yes. do you receive this yes. word? My God, my spirit man, there's so much more to say. My spirit man is in love with the Lord. Yes. Father, we thank you for the word on today. We thank you that heaven is pregnant. Yes. We thank you, God, for the stirring that's already taken place. We thank you, God, for the speakers that are coming in, for the visitors that will be coming in. We thank you, God, for what you're about to do, the dancers that will go forth, the praise worshipers that will go forth. Father, I bless the offering on today. I command your blessing on the tithers and the seed sowers and the givers. I thank you, God, that they will have no need of small. I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, that heaven there's an abundance. I thank you, God, for the dance that's coming up, for what you are getting ready to do in this house in Jesus' name let the church say amen if you're giving on life if you're giving through zealots 305 336 7777 if you are giving the zealots 305 336 7777 somebody say 13 13 if you're giving on cash app it's life no dollar sign life 1406 it's dollar sign life 1406. Thank you all for being faithful. Listen, if you have a job, someone say tight. Be consistent. I never miss. I've been, I'm, I'm 50, even though I look 25. I've never missed. Never. I can't. God is too faithful to me. I want you to be a hilarious giver. Somebody, how many of you are cheerful givers? And if you've been missing, if you've been out of sync, be in, say, okay, Lord, I'm going to do this right. Yes. I'm going to reset myself. Amen. Yes. How many of you are cheerful givers, hilarious givers? Amen. Stand to your feet. Honey, close this up. Amen. What a word. Yes, the rocket. Yes, the rocket over there. Yes, we do. Yes.
wrong about that bull. We had to put it on you, but it'll be all right. <laughs> Father, we just thank you for your word, Lord yes. God, that how you love and bless you. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. We just thank God for your we, Lord, we thank you for your covenant, Lord, that yes. you made with us. Amen. Amen. Grace. Just protect each and every one that's here as we lead to our destination, our homes, Lord God. Be with us, and Lord God, shield and protect us. Yes. We know that your angel is the camp of God. Yes, Lord. We love you. We just can't make it and go without you. Yes. Oh, my God, isn't it just yes. awesome? You do it without you. Yes. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.